So, for Christmas, I got my girlfriend a gaming computer and I bought this, a Samsung Evo 860 SSD, one terabyte, except that she's not getting it. See, I have the same SSD, except mine's 250 gigabytes, so I am wanting to put that new one terabyte in, swap that out, and then give her the 250 gigabyte SSD. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you can mind my really weird pajamas, and this dirty side panel. Taking off the side panel, and of course, I have unplugged the computer entirely. I'm also going to need to get my ankle bracelet that will ground me to the computer. So I will go and find that real quick. All right, so once you have a nice set of hairy legs, you attach the grounder, which has a little metal connector here, and then you attach this to some part on the metal case. And there you are, you're grounded. This is smart to do because even if you can't feel that you're giving static electricity to a computer, you actually can, small enough where you can't feel it. So it's important to make sure that you don't damage your parts. If you have a newer case, it's very nice because you'll most likely have this little area to mount an SSD. As you can see, I have my current one here, and then I'm going to put the new one here for now, and then probably keep it there for the long term. Another thing I need to do is clean out this case. <laughs> okay, this is obviously not a very pretty sight, but it shows which cables need to be plugged in. So this is the original SSD. I took it off its little rail. And basically each SSD is going to need a SATA data connector that's going to be plugged into a port. And then there's also the SATA power connector, which usually comes in a chain like this. So this is a new SSD that I'm going to be transferring all data into. And then once this is done, I'm going to put this one back where this old one used to be and it'll look good as new. Once you turn on the computer and then open up disk and open up disk management in Windows, you should see the following. It will say that a disk must be initialized before the disk manager can use it. So you select the disk, use MBR, and then select OK. And then down here, you will have this new disk, and it will tell you how much you have. If you do not see this, I recommend going into the BIOS of your motherboard and look through the boot record, and it should show all the drives that it, the BIOS knows are there. If it shows your drive, but you're not seeing in Windows, that's better. That means it's at least not dead. I had the same problem. I just had to reboot Windows a few times in order for it to recognize that that disk was actually there. So now you'll want to just right click this and create a new simple volume, assuming that you want to use this as another means of storage and you're not wanting to copy it. So you go through the wizard and you want to use all of the space and then you can choose your own drive letter. Select next, use NTFS and then I'm going to change the name. So I just change that to SSD. Click next, wizard will go through, and then all the space is usable. And you can see that's another drive on here. So now I'm going to go get the Samsung software that will copy everything from my SSD onto the new one. So at this point, you will need to use a tool like Samsung Data Migration, especially if you're using a Samsung SSD. And so you can see that I'm using my old SSD and then using this new one and transferring all the data for me nice and easy. It's going to delete all the data from this old one when it's done as well. So that tool helps streamline the process and makes it easy. I will check back in once all the data has been copied over. So now the data has been successfully transferred over to the disk. I'm going to hit close, I'm going to shut down my computer, and then I'm going to go into the BIOS once it's ready. So. I'm now in the BIOS and then the first thing that's telling me is select a boot device. So now I'm going to go down here, hit enter. My computer is started up as normal. I'm going to go into disk management again and just make sure that everything is working. And as you can see now my C drive is on the new 931 gigabyte or one terabyte SSD and the other disk has now been transferred over and I can safely remove it from the computer. And that is how you transfer over uh, data from one SSD to another.